Hello guys, Thousand Sunny here with another One Piece video and in this video I will explain Act 3 and Act 4 of Wano Arc and when new participants will arrive. As we know, Wano has reached Act 3 and it seems that most of the characters have chosen their opponent for their individual battles. Except that one guy. Traditionally, a narrative arc consists of 5 parts that goes in the following order. 1. Exposition, the introduction to the story. 2. Rise in action, the fighting begins to take place. 3. Climax, the fighting goes on fire and the reader wants to read more and more. 4. Falling action, the climax begins to fade. 5. Resolution, the arc ends and the after effects begin to show up. Right now, one arc is in Act 3. The heavy fighters have gathered in Onigashima's rooftop where a historical fight takes place, while the rest characters are giving their best in the lower levels, except that one guy. So Act 3 is when the battle goes on fire. We have seen the rooftop warm up and we wait for the battle to continue, while everyone is hyped about Kaido's hybrid. But what happens after that? When Luffy used Gear 4, Kid was shocked. When Gear 4 worn out, he actually stated, so there is a drawback for such a power, which indicates that Kid admired Gear 4. Luffy seems to use Gear 4 like he used Gear 2 before time skip. Actually, it's becoming somewhat his normal mode, and it's important to mention that Luffy was forced to use this gear for fighting Doflamingo, Cracker, Katakuri, and even a number in live floor, even though the number was taken out easily. In SBS, Oda hinted that Luffy will use Gear 5. Well, for me, he actually said it clearly, but anyway, obviously Kaido is far stronger than any other Luffy has fought till now. He can damage Kaido using Gear 4, but that's his limit. And Kaido wasn't even serious which means that Luffy will use Gear 5 against Kaido because he has no other way to take him down. And this is when we enter Act 4 in which the tension fades. The drawbacks of Gear 4 are great. For 10 minutes he can barely move and he can't use Haki. I ain't making a theory about Gear 5 and what it could be. But it is obvious that if Gear 4 is so exhausting, then Gear 5 will be even more. On the same time, in the lower levels, Sanji has fled from Black Maria and he is wondering if he is needed in the Scabbard's place or in Momonosuke's place. And Yamato seems to head straight back to the castle. Even Perospero has joined the live floor, but we haven't seen any movement yet. It's important to mention that a while back Perospero made a deal with Marco, in which they aimed to take down the demons. I suppose that we all agree that demons are the Yonkos, and yes, I'm talking about betrayal. Perospero wants to become the captain of the Big Man Pirates. His siblings want Katakuri, but he wants the title for himself. Even when Big Mom asked Perospero to trust her, his reaction wasn't at the least honest and loyal. Don't you agree? See in the photo. I have made another video in which I mentioned that Sanji will fight King. I will leave the link in the description, and I still believe so. As I said in that video, Marco has his power, but he also has battle experience more than any other in our side, I mean the Straw Hat side. From the very moment he arrived in the life floor, he gave instructions or advices, call it however you want, to the Straw Hats. Even in the last chapter, we saw him holding Queen in order for Chopper to beat him. And this is why I believe that Marco will only have a skirmish with the Calamities. While at the same time, Sanji is in the castle, and Yamato has entered the castle again. King and the rest of the Beast Pirates will obviously target Momo and Yamato. Actually, they already do so, and this is why I believe Sanji will fight King. As I mentioned in my other video, they are the best two fighters of the two main parties of the arc, the Beast Pirates and the Straw Hat Pirates, and they even have a similar battling style, since they can both fly, or at least float in the air. Peros aim 
is to become captain. He has absolutely no reason to spare time fighting with king, queen or even Marco. If we go back, when Marco skirmished with Big Mom, she said that she hasn't enough souls right now in order for her to kill Marco. And Marco said that he knows even more than them, meaning the rookies, how dangerous Big Mom can be. Now, moving back to the rooftop, I think it's clear for everyone that at the moment all the rookies are targeting Kaido, and it is also clear that without Zoro's Enma and Luffy's advanced armament Haki, the rest of them do not stand a freaking chance. I am sure disappointed, especially for kids' insufficiency. But as of now, Oda hasn't shown us that Kid can actually prove himself as a formidable ally in this battle. So now, if you combine all this stuff, you can easily understand that the five rookies against two embers ready to go all out have no hope of winning, speaking of this very moment. And this is why and when I believe Pero's plan entered the stage. Marco and Pero Spero will join the rooftop fight. Yes, I believe that Marco and Pero will fight Big Mom, and I believe that Pero will die by the hands of Big Mom. As I mentioned before, Act 4 is all about tension fading, and that is why I believe that Act 4 will end with the end of the individual battles. Luffy will manage to drop Kaido with Gear 5. However, if you remember back in Enya's lobby, in the most epic fight until now, Luffy was forced to use Gear 2 and Gear 3 while taking so much damage, which actually drove him falling on the ground unable to move. Luffy has already used two times Gear 4 while on Onigashima, and the fight with Kaido is unarguably the most difficult battle so far. Luffy will eventually drop Kaido as he dropped Luchi, and he will also fall as he fell in Enya's lobby. And on the same time, Big Mom kills Pero's Pero. Tension fades, Act 4 ends. And so we enter Act 5, where the after effects of Act 3 and Act 4 takes place. And in Act 5, actually, we get some intel about the next arc. Everyone wonders who will show up in Wano, and I say Akainu. CP0 is at Wano. X Drake has informed the Marines. The Marines, as of now, seem to struggle fighting the former Shichibukai, but there are also the Fleet Admiral and the Admirals. Akainu believes that CP units are the dogs of the government. However, Marines and CP units worked together back when they clashed with Blackbird Pirates in Baltigo. And this is how Act 5 goes. Marines storm Wano. If you remember, when we were in Punk Hazard Dark, we knew that the next arc was Des Rosa. And when in Des Rosa, we knew that the next one will be Zhu. And when in Zhu, we knew the next one will be Whole Cake. And when in Whole Cake, we knew that the next one will be Wano. But what do we know now about the next arcs? Now, we only know that Oda will draw the greatest battle ever in about 5 years. But we also know that after Wano, there will be global scale changes. I'm saying Marines enter Wano, but what has become of Wano? The rookies after fighting Kaido are obviously in no condition to fight anyone anymore. And Kaido, as I said before, is also in no condition to fight. So what I'm saying is that the pirates will escape Wano, but not all of them. After the Wano, there will be global scale changes, and this is why I believe that Wano is the end of the Beast Pirates. In order for global scale changes to take place, something huge must happen, and this huge thing is not for Luffy, Kid and Law just clashing with two embers and leave. That's not something huge, okay? We saw that in Whole Cake Island. Okay, Luffy became the fifth emperor. In my opinion, he has not, but he was mentioned as the new emperor. Still, there was no other global scale change. So, in order for that to happen, as Oda himself said that it will happen, there must be something huge. And what's better than an emperor and his crew getting the hell out of the story? Akainu will capture Kaido. 
Kaido has been captured many times in the past, and he is looking for a way to die, as was indicated when he was officially introduced. I know guys this is some crazy things I talk about, but I believe they all make absolute sense. Oda via the SBS wanted to prepare the fans for the end of the series. Sanji is part of the monster trio and he needs a big fight to prove himself. The One Piece is preparing for the greatest battle ever drawn, but if more pirates come to Wano like Shanks and Blackbeard, then who will fight in the last war? Me? I don't have Haki. And neither have you. We cannot participate, it's obvious. Blackbird is needed for the last war and he has other business to attend to, but that's for another video. I will quote Akainu's words, four emperors, five emperors, while I am the fleet admiral I will not let them have their way. You get what he means, right? Even CP0 members were satisfied by seeing pirates taking down each other. I believe this conversation was a foreshadow that the CP units and the marines are waiting patiently for the battle to end in order for them to engage safely and take down the damaged pirates in the glory. Here goes the marines. No one likes them, but still, that's their job. So these are my thoughts guys, that's what I expect and what I believe. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content.